Hello everybody, hello my brothers and sisters. I had made a video about a month ago and the video was about the mother of harlots. God revealed to me in a dream which, which system is the mother of harlots. And in this dream there was a big, it was like a court, court type of place. It was like a park, but it was like at the same time, it was like an open park, but at the same time it was like a mall. And in the middle they had this lemonade stand and there people were buying lemonade and I was on the line to buy lemonade. And there was a man, he was preaching and this man was saying, Babylon, Babylon, mother of harlots and abominations of the world. And God revealed to me when I looked up and I looked at the man, I said to my mind, oh, this is a good preacher. When I looked up, he was Pope Francis. God revealed to me that Pope Francis and the Rome Catholic system is the mother of harlots and abominations of the world. No doubt about it. The, whole, the world today is being deceived by Catholics and uh, Jesuits. They have control over the whole world today, my friends. So in that dream, I forgot to add a section that God showed me. And he wants me to tell you guys what he showed me, okay? And this is what he showed me. Okay, in this dream, there was a man holding an iron scimitar, okay? This is a scimitar. A scimitar is it's basically a sword used uh, for like uh, Arabian people. They use this sword a lot, okay? So there was a brick of clay and it was a moist brick of clay and it was speaking. And this brick of clay was saying, you know, turn to Jesus Christ. We love you. He died for you on the cross. He's coming back again. He's going to judge sinners. Repent. Living holiness. Jesus Christ wants to save your soul and he wants to keep you from going to hell. And then the iron scimitar, this man on top of this brick, he was cutting the brick, the moist brick of clay in pieces. And he was breaking this brick of clay in little pieces, okay? And God gave me Daniel chapter 2. And I'm going to read it for you, okay? This is the vision that Nebuchadnezzar had. He said, Thou, King Saul, and behold, a great image, this great image whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image head was of fine gold, his breast and arms of silver, his belly and thigh and his thigh of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Okay, so this section right here is legs of iron. That was the kingdom that our Lord Jesus Christ came to set us free from sin. He paid for our sins in the kingdom of iron, okay? He came in the time of the legs of iron, the kingdom of Rome, okay? So the heads of gold, that was uh, Babylon. The chest of silver, that was Medo Persa, okay? After that came, I'm going to read you guys, fine gold, his breast of arms, silver, his belly and thigh of brass. That was Greece right there, tired of brass, that was Greece. And then here came Rome, this section right here, verse 33. His legs of iron, you see, check this out. These people, they're masons, and they are 33 degree masons. So this is verse 33. He, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. So we are the feet, we are the last kingdom. We are the feet of, of iron and part of clay. So we are in the kingdom where, where there's the kingdom of the harvest. God is going to harvest the, his people, the mighty clay, and he's going to destroy the iron. The iron cannot be, cannot be bent like the clay, you see. The iron is the kingdom of the devil, the children of the devil, the wicked ones, okay. The kingdom that belong to Rome and, uh, you know, the Jesuits and the Roman Catholics. The kingdom that is, does not submit to the truth of Jesus Christ, does not love their neighbors. These people are idolaters, they're evil, and they're corrupted. So God showed me this dream that an iron scimitar was cutting a moist brick of clay in pieces and the brick of clay was speaking you the brick of clay was saying repent turn to jesus christ christ is coming back turn away from your sins jesus loves you he died on the cross for your sins and then the i will see the brick of clay was cut in pieces like this image but it was finally cut in little little slabs of pieces and god gave me uh daniel chapter 2 he says, Thou sawest till our stone was cut with our hands, with us, and which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and break them to pieces. So he says, He smote, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay. So it's saying that the stone, which is the cornerstone rock of offense, Jesus Christ, is going to come and he's going to set up a kingdom, an everlasting kingdom. And that stone represents Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. And he's, he smote. The feet of iron and clay. You see, we are the clay. We're gonna be we're gonna be gathered and we're gonna be taken into the barn of our of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're gonna be saved forever. So this is the particular dream that God gave me. It's the last prophetic dream that God gave me. 
the iron mixed with clay. I saw an iron scimitar and he was cutting slabs of clay. The clay was picking. And when he finished cutting the slabs of clay, he was pinching the clay with the iron scimitar and the iron, the, the clay slab was not speaking anymore like he was dead. And the Bible says in the book of Daniel, even as iron submits all things, you see, and break things in, in pieces, so will the last kingdom destroy the earth and will break things in pieces. So that's the last kingdom that we're living in. We're living in the kingdom of iron mixed with clay. And check this out. This is not a coincidence. This is the verse 33. Most of these people, most of these Roman Catholics, there they're are 33 degree Masons, okay? So we have to be alert. We have to be watching because the, the times and the days are evil. And the Lord Jesus Christ is about to return from heaven. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take this to the Lord. God bless you.